Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are doing a pedicure. And if you haven't already seen the completion of this wild yellow and crystal pedicure, then definitely make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on any one of these interesting and fun videos. As I've mentioned before, I am not the most graceful when walking and have once again broken my toenail. Not only that, but there is also quite a bit of wear on my second toenail. Once again, I will mention that adding crystals to a pedicure is not for everyone. It's additional pressure on the nail plate and the crystals are quite raised um, and they will press against your shoes, causing even more pressure. This could cause bleeding or even anicolysis, which is detachment of the nail from the nail bed. Therefore, you shouldn't add crystals to your toenails uh, if you're planning on wearing any other kind of shoes that aren't sandals. However, despite all of this and my broken toenail, the crystals have stayed on beautifully and none are missing. Getting straight to work, I'm removing the crystals with a pair of nippers. Removing them with the nail drill would be a disaster. Not only will it sound horrible grinding against those crystals, but they will be flying all over the place. So after I've removed the crystals, I will take my nail drill and remove the remaining polish. If you guys saw my story on Instagram, you all know the awkward and uncomfortable poses I have to put myself through in order to complete my own pedicure. So let's hope that after all this uncomfortable posing and work, I won't end up with another broken toenail again. I've already removed all of the coating, so further I am cleaning up the length with nippers. However, I won't be trimming them as short as I did previously, because it wasn't very comfortable for me when walking. Further, I'm cleaning up the cuticle area with my nail trail. I'm using a nail bit that is round at the end and is small in diameter. This kind of nail bit is super useful for cleaning up the sidewalls, as it's not arched like most nail bits, making it easier to deeply clean this area. Opposed to a manicure, when completing a cleanup for a pedicure, it's super important not to go underneath the cuticle area. The only area you should be cleaning up deeply is the sidewalls. I'm removing any dry skin using medium abrasion and also have the rotation switch on. So if I am taking the nail drill to the left, the nail bit's rotation is on forward and when I'm going to the right, I have the rotation on reverse. I have the RPMs right now at about 15 to 20,000, uh, but I don't have a screen showing me exactly what the RPMs are at, so I'm going based off of the sound. After I've cleaned up most everything from the sidewalls, I'm taking a curette and going through the lateral nail folds. As I was walking, I noticed a bit of discomfort, uh, so I know that there must be something there causing this. By cleaning this, I've lifted the nail up and away a bit from the skin, 
so the pressure has already disappeared. All that is left now is to remove the dry cuticle that I've already lifted and for that I will be using my nail drill with a round ball bit. I've taken the RPMs down to 10,000, however as for my fourth toe and pinky toe the red abrasion is too harsh for the cuticle area so I'm taking care of those toes with nippers for hardened skin and further just buffing them up. You can see just how much I cleaned up the nail on my big toe and lifted it from the edges. Now we can proceed with our pedicure. I'm starting off by taking care of the damaged corner using a 3-in-1 gel. First I'm applying a jelly primer and then a clear 3-in-1 gel. After letting them cure underneath the lamp, I'm pushing the skin away and filing in the corner in order for a beautiful and even looking toenail. Before picking today's color, I asked all of you on my story which one you would all like to see, and the winning color was this gorgeous turquoise, which I was pretty happy about. I'm applying most of the color with the bottle's brush, however using my artist brush to get close to the areas by my skin. It does take a little bit more time this way, but then you won't need to clean up a bunch of polish afterwards. I've added two layers of this beautiful polish and now have decided to do something a little bit different and add some sparkles to my second toenail. After I saw how beautiful this polish was, I decided to go for a little more sparkle and create these thin lines. Last but not least, I'm coating my toenails in a glossy top coat. I 
I am so happy with my new pedicure. Finally, I can get out of these awkward positions and it looks incredible. If you liked this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.